We're going to be looking at different types of projects uh, in this lecture and looking at the context of how a project sits in within an organisation. So projects are there to make money. Uh, it's important that uh, we financially set up our project, um, that it is beneficial to our organisation in some way, that it helps the organisation meet its strategic aims. But there are lots of different types of projects. Uh, I've mentioned that I've worked in the uh, IT area, running IT projects, for an automotive company. We've seen examples of construction projects, or airline projects, or event projects like the London Olympics, as an example. Now, reading the textbooks, there's no agreed um, categorization of projects, you know, big projects, small projects. You could argue projects that cost you less than £100,000 uh, are treated differently to projects that cost you more than a million pounds. All projects are unique. And projects can involve construction projects, people projects, change management projects, product development projects, IT projects, research projects. A project to cure a type of cancer. Can you see how that's totally different from a construction project? But lots of the project management tools and techniques will be the same. Now, this uh, project has to operate within our organisation, the context or the environment for the project. The project operates within the company, within the stakeholders, the people who are interested in the project. We'll have a, a discussion on stakeholders in the second set of lectures. The project lives in the environment that it lives in in the big wide world. And as we go through the life of a project, this environment will change. Now, that might change, might be very small if you're running a, a three-month project internal to your company. If you're running a seven-year project, like developing the next Olympics or the next World Cup, the environment will change substantially. Uh, understanding this context for the project, this is one of the differences between the APM who say project management is about this management of the big wide world, the context, and the Project Management Institute that say, well, okay, that, that's, that's, we'll take that as red. We are going to give you some planning tools to run your project in whatever environment you've got. So this is one of the big differences between the PMI's view on project management and the APM's view on project management. So stakeholders will have different views and objectives for your project, and we'll look at this in lecture two. If we ignore the environment that the project runs in, we're going to have more risk on the project. More things are going to affect us. We're going to get more change. We'll be looking at change management. We'll be looking at risk management on the project. We'll be looking at that in lecture nine. One of the tools that you can use to analyze and understand the context of a project is PESEL analysis. The next slide will explain what that acronym means. And this helps us to consider those wider environmental issues that our project has to fit in. So PESEL, the political, the economic, the sociological, the technical, the legal, and the environmental, I'm, I'm saying green environmental, as opposed to the environments where the project sits in. So imagine that you're running a project, um, a new city tram example. Uh, if you want to look at a project that's had problems, the Edinburgh tram system is a good example of projects that's had many problems over its life because of the environment. Politically, the local council says, yeah, we want trams in Edinburgh. It was a pet project for them, um, perhaps more than a business project to make money even. The sociological issues with this project, how do you get people to stop using their cars and to use public transport and a tram instead? Legal issues, the purchase of lands for this project, and more environmental issues for the project, the reduction of um, CO2 emissions, the reduction of car transport, but of course the uh, opposing use of electricity to power the trams, but hopefully some noise reduction in the city centres. So a PESEL analysis can help you understand the project context. Okay, we're really concluding the introduction to the module, the introduction to project management. So 
go to the library, have a look at some project management books. Have a look at the definition for project management. Go and have a read of the British Standard for Project Management. It's uh, BS 6079. Uh, you can get a link from Moodle to, uh, to try and find that in the library. Go to Google and have a look at some of those project management methodologies. The Kersner approach, goal-directed project management, agile project management, critical chain project management. Go and Google Prince2 and see all the training courses that you could uh, sign up for to understand projects in controlled environments. And have a look at the uh, Moodle web um, for this module. Have a look at some of the web links that I've made available and enjoy the module. Thank you.